All right, here's the directions for the IR submission. Students in AP Seminar, we need you to use Chrome. Use the uh, three dot menu in the upper right corner. We need to make sure the pop-ups are from settings, you go to settings and then you scroll down to the content settings. And this option right here, black pop-ups, you need to make sure it's off. It might be on, which looks like you could even show them, Julia. It might look like that. You need to turn it the other way. Yep, toggle it, and then go back to your content settings. And now you can see that it's off, and when it's off, you can hit done. Okay, that's a good way to start with Chrome. But now go back into Google Docs for step two. And when you open your IRR, you need to- I like print layout. Yeah, that's very good. Print layout is a good choice, Julia, that's good. Make sure you don't have any student, teacher, or school names anywhere in the doc. You also need to make sure you have an accurate word count. So you should select from your first sentence to the last sentence. And then you got to use this three dot menu again in the upper right corner to use the word count tool. And then it'll what you have highlighted will be your word count for your paper. So Julia, what do you got there? 10 out of 85 is good. Okay, we know optimal is 1,200. But for this example, she's going to type up word count 10. And you would do that at the end of your paper and it can be at the end of the paper or the end of the bibliography. It needs to clearly be in your document, just like that. For step four, scroll down to your uh, bibliography work cited. Make sure you have hanging and dense. Make sure it's alphabetized and you say the alphabet out loud to make sure you've got it right. Okay, that's good. It's also nice to show that your work cited is on a separate page. So um, with the print layout and looking at your doc, it looks like this one's in good shape. For step six, or step five and step six, uh, if you're in Google Docs, go to the three dot menu in the upper corner. And this is where you would turn what was a document into a PDF. And to do that, you go to share and export. And then you go to send a copy. And then you choose your format as PDF right there and click OK. So that was step six. For step seven, you're going to put that. Now you have a choice on where to put it. Put it in Google Drive. You may have to choose your account. You should probably select your folder at the bottom and choose like my drive. And that means it's gonna be the, it won't be in a folder. It'll just be on your my drive for Google Drive. So hit save here and then hit upload in the upper right. I would now go into Google Drive check that it's there and it's currently called IRR. So for step eight, I think you should use the three dot menu again and try to rename that document. There's a rename option. So instead of calling it IRR, maybe a word from your topic in your lens would be good. Would be a good one for this one. Ethics. Very good, hit rename. So, we feel pretty good that this is going to be the document we need to submit. So for step nine, why don't we open it? Let's verify it's the right paper. It doesn't have any names on it. It looks the way you want. You go down to the work cited. It's laid out the way you want. The word count is in there. Okay. So with this document now ready to go, you need to go back to the three dot menu again for step 10. And then you need to hit open in. 
And then you need to hit save to files. You can save this in your iCloud drive downloads, just like it says here. And then in the upper right, you have to click save. And now this was, we, this student already had one called ethics, so we could hit replace. And now this new one will replace the old one. You could also access it through your Google Drive, but I feel pretty good that at step 10, we have a document that we can submit to the digital portfolio. So for step 11, we're gonna go back to Chrome and we're gonna go to the digital portfolio, the digitalportfolio.collegeboard.org. The student's already ready to go. Hopefully you've already tested your login. And from this screen now, it's important that on the left-hand side, you pick team project and presentation for step 12. And for step 13, individual research report. You look at these requirements, they look like they're correct. 1200 words, 50% weight for PT1. We have a PDF ready to go. Your name's not in it, your word count is. You're gonna hit upload new for step 14. You're gonna select your file. You're gonna browse. You're gonna find the correct PDF file. This one is on Google Drives. There's another one under iCloud Drive under downloads. So then that ethics file is there. So you could select this one or you could select the one from Google Drive. You then hit submit. It may take uh, a little bit of time for longer docs, internet speed, it'll really depend on where you are. It's now time to run the originality report for step 17. We kind of did a couple steps there in a row. When you do the originality report, it may take a couple minutes before you can view it. This one happened quickly. So for step 18, you could click that, view originality, a new tab will open. This will show you the turn it in percentage and you could refresh your page to see that. Um, you could then, and it may take a minute, but that was good. Thank you. You could close that tab or go back to the previous tab. That is just for you to look at. You could click on the percentage, but for right now, for our purposes, that's good. You then hit submit final. You'd hit view. You'd click the boxes to confirm that this is you, that you wanna do your final submission. And when you hit those final buttons that say finalize, then you're done with the submission. Thank you. Good luck. Hope you all get a great score on this.